I don't know about you, but I am super excited that it's almost fall. And for today's makeup look, I thought it would be fun to do a little summer to fall makeup transition. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. I've already gone ahead and done my brows and skin prep off camera. So let's begin with complexion. For foundation today, I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, and this is in the shade three to four light medium. And I really like this foundation a lot. It's more of like a tinted moisturizer, but it does have a bit more coverage. And I feel like this type of foundation is perfect for this transition from summer to fall because you can definitely build up the coverage. However, it's still pretty lightweight, but this is the consistency of the foundation. And I'm going to take a brush and just begin building this foundation where I want the most coverage. So for me, it's on my cheeks, on my nose, and then also on my chin. And I'll really work this foundation into my skin. So, so far this is looking really beautiful. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more coverage on my cheeks. This is where I tend to have the most discoloration. The cream bronzer I'm using today is from Fenty Beauty. This is the cream bronzer in the shade Macchiato. And I'm going to take a brush and really begin working this cream bronzer on my forehead. This cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty is really beautiful. I love it a lot. As you can tell, I'm almost done with it. I'm really trying to use it as much as possible so I don't waste whatever's left. It's a really fantastic cream bronzer and I mean, it goes without saying, the shade range is also amazing. And then I'm working this cream bronzer on my cheekbones and then whatever's left on my brush, I'll just run it along my jawbone. For cream blush today, I'll be using the blush from Danessa Myricks, and this is in the shade Rosé and Brunch. It's a really beautiful product. And then I'm going to lightly begin tapping this onto my cheeks. This is a very pigmented product, so I'm making sure to work it in. And just personal preference, I like to bring my blush right underneath my eyes. And I feel like with this blush, it's perfect for the transition from summer to fall because it is a more bold blush, which I feel like you can pull off in the fall time, but it still looks very nice and dewy and natural. And then I'll just apply a tiny bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin and then also some across my nose as well. So I still feel like I'm looking very fresh faced and I'm loving how everything is blending together. For concealer today, I'll be using the Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 215. And I'm gonna focus this concealer right in this inner part of my eye. That's where I feel like I need the most coverage. And then I'm gonna start with a little bit and if I feel like I want more, I can always add more. And I'm going to begin by lightly patting this concealer. And I'm using this tapping motion because I don't want to lose any of the coverage, but I want to make sure that I really blend it into my under eyes. And then using the very tip of the brush, I'm just working on blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines. I'll add a tiny bit of concealer on my eyelids as well to cancel out some of the redness I have. So I'll just use that same brush and just lightly tap the concealer into my eyelids. To set my eyes, I'm going to be using the Givenchy powder and it's in the shade three, which is the more rosy color. And then before I go in with the powder, I'm going to remove any of the product that's settled into my under eye lines and then I'll go ahead and set it. And then I'll do the same thing for my upper eyelid. I want to make sure that I also set this. So it's a nice canvas for the eyeshadow that I'm going to use in just a little bit. Now that I've set my eyes, I'm gonna use that same powder and set the T-zone of my face, which is where I tend to get oily throughout the day. And I feel like 
with fall makeup, you can kind of get away with using a bit more powder too. So I'm using more powder than I generally would. And because it's colder, you don't really need to worry about kind of like sweating your powder off. So that's why I'm going a little bit more intensely with my powder. I'm going to be using the bronzer from Fenty Beauty. This is the Sunstalker bronzer in the shade number four. And I'm using a big brush like this one. And I'll begin by sweeping this bronzer across the high points of my face. So I'm starting on my forehead and then I'll bring whatever's left on the brush down my cheeks and a tiny bit across my nose and a little bit underneath my jawline. And I'm really just focusing on setting the cream bronzer that I used underneath. And then using a small brush, I'll go ahead and warm up my crease as well using the same bronzer. I like to do this because I feel like it gives a very cohesive look. And I'm really just focusing this on my crease just to bring some warmth back to my eyelids. And then I'll also run a tiny bit underneath my eyes as well. I'm actually gonna go in with more of an illuminating blush. This will ease the transition between summer and fall. So I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. I'm gonna swirl into this. Oh, this is the Sephora Colorful Illuminizer in the shade Pink Flash. So I'm going to lightly just tap this on the high points of my cheeks, and this will bring a very pretty shine I'm really liking how all of the powder products are sitting on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And this will just help really lock all the powders in and bring some life back to my face so it doesn't look super powdery. And then I'll let that dry down. For today's eye look, I'll be using the Makeup by Mario palette. This is the Neutrals palette. First, I'm gonna go in with this shade on top here. And I'm going to work this into the crease right on top of where I had that bronzer. And I'm really gonna focus on just blending everything together using windshield wiper motions. And because this is a fall look, I'm going to be adding some deeper colors on my lid. And I'm actually going to be going in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, which I'm excited to use. I feel like it's just the perfect color for fall. And I'm just making sure that the edges look very soft and blended out. I'm going to go in with a deeper shade, so I'm just going to go in with the one right underneath it. And I'm going to focus this shade all over my lid. And I'm going to blend this up into the crease. And when there's barely any product left on the brush, I'm just blending it up into my crease. Again, to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I'll use this shade on the bottom. It's a deeper brown. And I'm just going to focus this shade right along my lash line. And I'll blend it up into the outer V of my eye. And this is just giving my eye a tiny bit more dimension. Now for the fun part, we're gonna go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is just a beautiful, coppery rose gold color and I'm going to use my fingers to apply this. So I'm just building up the pigment on my finger and then I'll begin pressing this onto my eyelid. I feel like this color is just perfect for fall and the fact that it has some shimmer as well makes it a perfect transition from summer to fall makeup. And I'll do the same on the other eye. All right, and then I'll just go ahead and take a fluffy brush and I'll begin blending the edges so it doesn't look too harsh. I'm going to take a small brush like this and I'll dip into that Super Shock shadow. And basically I wanna build some pigment underneath my eyes as well. And I'm just focusing most of the pigment on the center here. And I feel like doing this just really makes the eyes pop. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora 12 hour colorful eye pencil. And this is in the shade Tiramisu. I'm gonna take this brush and lightly coat it with the pigment on the pencil. 
and I'm going to just stamp this along my lash line. And I'm doing this to build some depth without going in with a liquid liner because I wanna still keep this pretty soft since it's a transition from summer to fall. And I feel like using this method really smudges out the look and makes it a little less intense. And I'm not gonna go in with too much, just this amount is perfect. So I'm just building up a tiny bit of dimension on the outer part of my eye so my eye looks longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And for mascara today, I'll be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. And I'm just really focusing a lot of the mascara on the root and building it out. I'm going to be doing a brighter lip just to kind of keep it a little bit lighter uh, as we transition from summer to fall. So I'll be going in with the Rare Beauty lip liner and lipstick in the shade Lively. And then one final coat of setting spray. This is the final look that I came up with for a makeup look that's the perfect transition from summer into fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this makeup look turned out super cute and very pretty and I just feel really pretty wearing it. So it's definitely serving its purpose. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like makeup videos or videos about cooking or baking, or just, you know, everyday beauty or anything like that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for joining today and I hope you have a good one. Take care.